guys welcome back so today as you can see I decided to play around in some green eyeshadow and as usual I'm playing around in a new palette y'all know I love palettes they are my weakness my addiction and so I do have a new palette that I played around with for this green eye look now I should say welcome to anyone who's new I always say welcome back but if you're new welcome thank you for coming to hang out with me my name is Camille and today the palette of the day <laughs> is this Delancey avocado green palette okay now it does come in this cute little box it's like a slide through unicarton type situation and the palette looks just like the box it has the ingredients on the back it does has a have a cruelty free symbol and when I was reading it says it is vegan as well okay now I purchased mine off of Amazon because I am a prime member and I like getting my items in two days <laughs> or less so I did purchase my palette off of Amazon for $9.99 and I'm very happy about now, it. Now, I don't know why it is that I decided not to purchase the Just My Luck. Now, I take that back. I know why I didn't purchase the ColourPop Green Palette. It's because I don't typically wear green eyeshadow. I just don't. I gravitate more to the blues and the purples and stuff like that. Don't really gravitate to the greens. But this palette, for some reason, on Instagram, the shades, the swatches everything just kind of had me in a headlock so when I saw this palette I just was like I gotta get it $9.99 yeah I'm getting it so so this is what this palette looks like there is a mirror in here which is really nice if you care about that I personally don't but it's nice to have a mirror in here especially for $9.99 and these are the colors as you can see there is a really nice arrangement of lighter greens and it goes all the way down to this really super dark green which I love because I love to be able to smoke out an eye look there's some beautiful lighter shades in here this inner corner highlight you guys is not playing when I put that on I was shook okay um, the pressed glitters very very beautiful pressed glitters in here if you don't care about that then you know they're just in there but if you like pressed glitter I think it's really nice to have those in there as well but I just really really liked the array of greens that they had in here as well as this beautiful kind of like a baby blue quote-unquote shimmer now when they describe this palette they say that there's you know base colors pressed glitters shimmers but what I found is the shadows that are quote-unquote shimmers they kind of perform more like satin type shadows to me as opposed to the shimmers I do have some on my lid and when I think of a shimmer I think of something that kind of has like a lot of sparkle to it really pretty kind of bright and glistening and the shimmers from this palette are more like a satin to me that's just my opinion you'll see when I swatch them you can kind of decide for yourself what you think but this palette I really enjoyed using today I like this bold green look that I created I did go in with some yellow eyeliner as well as some green glitter which kind of went crazy for a minute but I was able to somewhat reel it back in <laughs> But you'll see when creating this look, I did kind of go crazy with the eyeliner at first. But anywho, there are 15 shades in here, gorgeous matte shimmer or satins and pressed glitters. So let's just go ahead, jump into the swatches and then we can move on to this eye look. about the swatches for this palette is it swatches very very nicely I mean the glitters okay if you do like glitter these glitters feel like it's like they feel like butter 
even though it's a glitter it doesn't feel like that nasty super gritty chunky glitter it just it feels really good swatching as you can see they are super duper pretty as well but that's just first off I like how the glitters feel the other shadows swatch very nicely I like the lighter shades and I like the variation of greens that they provide in this palette now looking closely like I said the quote unquote shimmers to me seem a bit more like satins I would say this green here is a shimmer um, but I feel like it looks like a satin. This gold here that I put on my inner corner feels more like a satin. This blue, the baby blue, absolutely gorgeous, but they just don't have that super duper pop of shine, if you know what I mean. But they are still super duper pretty. So first impression, you guys, I feel like this palette for $9.99 to have 15 shadows with pressed glitters, satins, shimmers, mattes, whatever. <laughs> I think it's a great buy. I really do. If you're looking for a green eyeshadow palette, I know at this point there are quite a few out there. Um, I know Makeup Revolution came out with an avocado palette that I actually wanted to compare to this, but it was sold out when I went to get it. And you know, the ColourPop one, the Just My, is it Just My Luck? Yeah, Just My Luck palette. That one looks really pretty as well. I'm glad that I did go ahead and get this because I am someone who does like pressed glitter. I do. But I'm glad that I did go ahead and choose this one because for $9.99, you can't beat it. It's decently pigmented. It creates a beautifully bold green look. I love the lighter shades in here, the glitters, and I like how deep the green goes. So that's just my first impression on this palette, you guys. If you'd like to see how I created this wild and crazy green eye look today, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, so I'm starting out this look today by prepping my eyelids with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm just using that to prep my lids before I start out with this look today. Now I'm going into the darkest green in the eyeshadow palette and I'm just taking a dense crease brush and I'm placing that in my crease area just patting it down to see just how pigmented this shadow can be and although it's not as dark as I thought it would be it is a very pretty green color. So I'm just dragging that out to create the shape for this eye look. Now I'm going in with this lighter green. This is a matte shade as well, and I'm using that just to blend out the edge of that darker green. Now the shadows in this palette do not have names, so I'm not able to tell you what name it is for each shadow because there are no names. Now I'm going in to cut my crease and I'm using my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. As you guys know, I love this stuff so I use it all the time and I'm just creating my cut crease for this look. Now I'm starting out with the yellow in the palette. This is a matte yellow and I'm just placing that on the inner portion of my cut crease. Not going too far over, I just wanted to brighten up the inner portion of my eye. And as you can see, it's very, very pretty, nicely pigmented. Next, I'm going into the, what is a mint green shimmer shade in the palette. I didn't wet my brush for this shadow. I just went in with my brush dry and it is nicely pigmented. It's very smooth. It blended with that yellow very, very easily. Now I'm going back into the darkest green and I'm just placing that just slightly on the outer portion of my cut crease to create a ombre look. Now I decided I wanted to go a little bold today, of course. So I'm using my NYX yellow eyeliner and I'm just taking that across the outer portion of my lid, creating a wing. I'm not dragging it all the way across my upper lash line, just on the outer portion and a bold wing. Now I wanted to go over that with some green glitter. I didn't use the glitter in the palette today because I didn't want to go in with glitter glue. I was being lazy. So I went ahead and just used one of my liquid glitters and just placed that on my upper lash line. I also drug it across the bottom of that yellow as well. So now I'm going to complete my complexion 
come back and finish up this eye look. I'm using one of my green eyeliner pencils. It's just one that I got from AliExpress and I'm using that on my lower lash line. I'm also going back into the palette taking that dark green shade and just smoking out my lower lash line as well. And for my inner corner today, I'm going into this beautiful champagne shimmer shade. Like I said, it's more like a satin to me, but the pigmentation on it is amazing, you guys. It just really popped. So I'm going in with some of my Thrive Mascara just to finish up this look. This mascara is really nice, you guys. I got it in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. For my lips, I'm going in with my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner and just starting out the lips with that. And I'm also going to go in with my ColourPop Lipstick Quickie. And this is from Shayla's previous collection with ColourPop. Nice, beautiful nude shade. I'm just taking that in the center of my lips and I'm topping it off with my Essence Wet Look Lip Gloss. And this is going to complete the look today, you guys. I think that for this to be a lesser expensive $10 palette, it performed very well. The shadows are nicely pigmented and you can definitely create a beautiful green look with this palette. So hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with me to create this look today. It's pretty bold and wild, but I had a lot of fun creating it. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Toodles!